Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to um the Chaos Africa Sync meeting. Um I want to welcome everyone again. Thank you. Uh so I was saying that I'm not sure I've seen trust before. Hello, trust. Is this your first time of joining? Hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, hi. Sorry. Um, no, this is not my first time of Jen. I think this is my third. Um, but thank you for coming out to me. Oh, okay. You're welcome. What do you do? I mean, I'm um, a UX do you? You oh, you're ex designer. Nice. You're welcome. Thank you. So, how about Haida? How about Ida? Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Is this your first time of attending the Kiosk Africa meeting? Yes, it's my first time here. Oh, you're welcome, Ida. Ida. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Haida. Did I? Yes, Ida. <laughs> Aida, okay. Yes, you you're need. welcome. What what part of the um country are you from? And what do you do? Um, I'm from Nigeria. Okay. Um, what I mean is um Lagos, Kaduna, where where oh, Kano, where? Kano. Um, Kano. Sorry. Kano. Kano, Kano, nice. Okay, you're welcome. Um, so what do you do? Um, development, design, technical um, writing. I do design. I'm also a, a community manager. I'm also a hub manager. Ah, nice. You're welcome. You know there are a lot of ways in which you can contribute um to the community. Um, have you attended the new commands and gouts before? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. You met Mary Blessing, right? Yes, I did. That's cool. All right. So I I know you're going to enjoy the community. You're welcome. All right. So um, let's uh, talk about uh, our hub dates. Let me see who and who else is on the call. Yes, yeah, so let, let, me, let me start with the developers um, updates. So, you know, two weeks ago, we were talking about um, fairing out issues on the badging website. And then we tried to do like a one week challenge where people do pair programming so that we can get it off. And uh, the update is that only for us to get to the um, the repo, and then we discovered that a lot of the issues had previously been worked on, right? And some of them were not merged. Some a lot um, people um, had not finished working. Maybe they were assigned to it like since February or March, even January, and they haven't completed it. So. What I tried to do was to message these um, contributors to say, um, how you done uh, with the work I've had you gone so that we know whether to reassign to another person. So um, what we have now, maybe we have one or two major issues on the website that then needs to be reassigned because probably the contributor is no longer active in the community. So that's where we are right now. But I kind of feel that um, I didn't get a good vibe for the peer programming. So I would like to ask Amza, like Amza, what, what do you think the problem could be? Is it that um, people are busy working or they don't fancy that method because I didn't get the kind of response I was looking for. What do you think? Oh, hi. Um, 
Good afternoon. Sorry everyone. to put you on the spot, so, uh, Hamza. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I understand. So, um, sorry, just a quick one. Can you come over again? Because I just hear my name just pop up. Sorry, what did you say? Can you come over again in your question? Okay, so I was saying that I didn't get a good vibe for the pair programming challenge that uh, we set out to do for the developer contributors. Um, I didn't get good responses like I would have loved to. So I was wondering what the problem could be. So I was asking for ideas from you or any other person in, in, in the call. Yeah, so lately I've been thinking about this because uh, I I just this week I realized I'm one of the maintainers for the version project. Then when I visit the repo, I see a lot of issues. I've been attending some of them. I've been attending, and uh, even a pull request has been sent, but they have been reviewed. They haven't matched yet. So and then there is a lot of issues that I discovered on the platform, which I um able to raise them later in the week for them to see where Wait, which one are you talking about the which website. report are you talking about the budget yeah, okay yeah. okay peculiar and uh busayo i guess sorry i i can't recall who is the other person that reached out to me uh, pointed out uh, to me that i'm also a maintainer on the budget website so mm -hmm. what I okay. to me the best solution to the peer programming is to like uh, discover okay who is interested in this particular one and then what time do you have because we all believe that everybody has his busy times and schedules so it's a uh, part of the open source um, initiative which I really really enjoy is um is to respect everybody's commitment right so mm -hmm. i think we should send out a form uh describing what, where someone can state okay between x and x y and z time i'm, I'm, I'm available for peer program we can see how we can peer uh all the interesting bodies thank you okay okay thank you for that Thank you for that. Um, okay. Does anyone want to add to what um to what Amza said? Okay. All right. Um, Winifred, are you taking notes? Yes, I am. I Okay, thank you very much. I think you're um, not seeing your screen, right? Um, so I'm not sharing my screen because I'm on my phone. Yeah, and yeah, well, um, that's why you ask whether Winifred is taking note. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry about course, that. I I just wanted to be and he's, and he's doing very well. Thank you. Winifred. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Hamza. Okay. Um. Okay. So I I I don't know if the design team members are here. Mm, not sure. Okay. So let's just move on to the accessibility team. Yiga, Busayo, would you like to say something to what you guys are doing with your team? I know that there are a lot of um updates with the accessibility team that I even want to bring some of um the things that relate to the developers. Yeah. But would you like to go first? Um uh, Busaya Yiga. I think you guys are in the best place to speak about accessibility. So Yiga, do okay. you want to go ahead? I think I'm sorry, you pull my shell, puts me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're so <laughs> sorry. How <laughs> far? So, um, we're just getting back into the groove of things with accessibility. Um, we need more people, that's for sure. So, if you're a designer and you kind of like want to 
get your hands on accessibility testing. Yes, of course, we need you. There's so many issues already that have been created. I'm also going to create more for the week runs out so that we have, because there's, there's a bit of testing that has been done. So what needs to be done is actually implementing or making the changes in the different places. So there's a lot of work to actually be done. So Are I you think talking about the accessibility doc? Yes, accessibility testing on chaos like chaos website. Oh, okay. What are you asking me about? Is it the disability and inclusion um channel? Is that what you're asking me about, or accessibility testing itself? Uh, well, so um, in the community call on Tuesday, Victoria mm. came to talk about um what you guys are doing and the um, disability and inclusion uh, team. So mm -hmm. that's what I was actually referring to. But again, that's good that you are bringing us up to speed concerning the accessibility itself, what you're doing concerning the KIOS yes. website. Okay. Yes. Okay. So with, with the disability and inclusion, um, Toria will be the best person to give updates on that because I just join, you know, later, later, later on, right? But it's okay. kind of like the same thing. It's all bordering around accessibility. It's just like, it's more like a focus group of what we're doing. And now being actually inclusive to include the people who would need those things, right? You know, the very enabled people by God's grace. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so it's more like a, a, it's a more focus group as opposed to, you know, just doing accessibility testing and stuff like that. So I can give updates on accessibility tests here while she, you know, kind of gives updates on what's going on with the general team, right? But for what okay. it's worth, I'll create issues this week and I'll let us know what needs to be worked on. I'll just share the links with us. Also, I think I should update um, Busayo and Gloria. We have new, a new project manager for accessibility testing. That's Gloria. I just wanted to point that out. I don't know if she's on the call. Yay, welcome, Gloria. Yes. Hi, Winifred. Uh, hi, Hamza. Ooh. And hi, Deborah. Hi. I haven't yeah. met Deborah and Trust before, but hi. hi. <laughs> okay, so that's it from my end. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Iga, does anybody have any question for Iga concerning the accessibility updates and the diversity and inclusion team? Okay, she had already said that that's for Victoria, but anything concerning uh, the accessibility updates? Adeka, there's no question for Iga. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> Come no on now. <laughs> okay. Actually, I do have a question. You see? You see? <laughs> go ahead, Damza. <laughs> Please go ahead. Okay. So I have been wondering um concerning the accessibility feature. So I have uh, in our community here. In I'm not Ghana, sure we so can hear you clearly. Does anybody? Disabilities. Um, Hamza. Mic check one two. Can anybody hear me? I can hear him. I can hear him. Mic check one two. Okay. 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 Yiga, can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, please. I can hear you. Please go on. Okay. So um, here in Ghana, we have uh, people living with disability that are active in open source community kind of here. So I don't know if I can bring them on board to test the accessibility features. I mean, people living with a vision impaired. Yes, definitely. Why not? We're doing all of this to them, you know, to be to make sure that the web is accessible, essentially. That's the whole point. Do you understand? So the more people that we have yeah. with actual challenges that can check and tell us, oh, this is what is going on. This is what I am unable to assess. 
that makes it better for us, right? Because we will, in as much as we're experts at doing these things, we would always, there will always be, you know, that one thing that we might miss somewhere, right? So it's, just, it's, it's a welcome idea, please. Always. All right. So, uh, thank you. So I will give you an update on this uh, somewhere around this week. Okay. Thank you so much, Hamza. Thank you. Really You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. All right. Um, so I, I want to also talk about the technical writing sub, um, focus group. So um, I actually took up the responsibility of leading the team, right? But I discovered that for now, um, my time allows me to really focus on the um, Chaos Africa Developers Focus Group and then uh, the budgeting program. So it's been a lot trying to um, also uh, try to combine tech writing with it. So, and um, I feel that that needs to keep running. So because of that, I had to reach out to one of us, um, Hamza, who is also interested in tech writing, if we would be able to take up the lead for the tech writing um, focus group and he accepted. So I want to make it um, like known to the community that if you are really interested in, in the tech writing, then uh, you can always reach out to Hamza. Hamza will be the, the best person to reach out to at this time. Um, sorry, uh, Hamuni. Uh, <laughs> Hamuni, Hamuni. Um, hello, Hamza. <laughs> I hope you were not thinking like, okay, when did you discuss tech writing? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was actually running out. I was actually running to check my Slack chats to make sure that this conversation happened. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. It was actually and thing, yeah. And the funny thing, I don't think harmony is here. He's <laughs> <laughs> not. He's not. But I know Gloria is here, and she's so interested in tech writing. And um, um, I, I'm not sure if any other person on the call is interested. So that's why I'm bringing it out in the open. That um, let's see how somebody else can help us move this forward. There is no point saying you want to lead something, and for like a month now, there hasn't been any progress in that particular area. So let's see, um, bringing Amoni on. Let's see what we can do with that, and then move move forward. I know that one of the issues we are having, especially with the badging websites, is the fact that um, most people don't know how to make good commits. They, in fact, um, they, they would do one thing and then report another thing. So it, it really is taking up maintenance time. So if we can have a well-documented um, uh, contributing.md that people can follow, I think it will go a long way. So that's for you, Gloria, and any other person interested in tech writing. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. I can help take a look at it. You Just mean the overview? I think. <laughs> Just <laughs> look at it, like a second eye at it. But Gloria can take it up for just taking a look at it and ensuring that everything is just. Great. Are you talking about the contributing.md guide? Yeah, the technical writing stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if uh, Ida raised her hands just a couple of seconds ago. I don't know oh, yes, I yes, I noticed. Yes, hi, Ida. Um, do you still want to say something? No, um, when you talked about anyone being interested with contributing with the technical writing, I just raised my hand. Okay, okay. Um, so Gloria has also raised her hand. So yeah, um, okay, go ahead. Hi, Thank you. 
Okay, so I wanted to ask about the contributing the MZ guide. Okay. So I'm not quite sure. Am am I to like um open a pool request or is it when the working group eventually like kicks off and then we start? Mm. So um I think what we should do with regards to that is um first sit down and decide, brainstorm and decide what should go into a comprehensive contributed.md guide. So um, that will come from the problems that we have been having. For instance, we have a timeline issue. People don't, uh, we don't have a very, so I don't want to use the word street, but at least a set deadline that can make people, um, make um, their, their commit and then PR on time so that we don't drag the work. Now, there are a lot of issues issues that we still want to work on concerning the budget website but um we we i was thinking it would be nice for us to even clear the ones that we have right now because a lot of people have been working since january and they've not finished so if we can look at the problems that we are having currently and then from there draw out um guide or solution to address those problems then we collate them together and put it into the contributed and MD guide. So I think the first step is let's even come together. Somebody will be leading that. Let's come together. This is the time. Okay, what are the issues we are having? How do we put them into words um, on the solutions that we address it? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, I do. So what I'm asking now is you said somebody will be leading it. So I'm... I'm not sure if this is what Harmony will be leading or if this is open for like someone else to lead or I did the same thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so um the contributed on the MD guide is just one of many docs that can be worked on. So I think um let's let's wait for harmony so that he can even understand what is he wants to do or wants to wants to achieve with the team. Then um, from there, you probably can then be assigned the contributor.md guide. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Does it answer your question? Does it answer your question? Yes, it does. Okay. Thank you. Yes, hi, Adinka. Can you hear me? I think my network is bad, but I'm saying yes, it does answer my question. Anybody hear me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can hear you loud okay, and clear. Okay. okay, okay. So I want to say, Gloria, let's just um take it to the tech writing um channel. Let's just kickstart that conversation. I know that you'll keep me on my toes. If I if it will keep me on my toes if somebody is addressing it on the on the on the channel. Do you get what I'm trying to say? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, that's for tech writing. Let me see if the design guys are here. Okay. So um that's it from me. Does anybody yes before I go hmm. Okay, so um, with regards to the accessibility update that Yiga gave, now I said um, Victoria made some updates um, in the community call on Tuesday. And what part of what she said was that um, they have reached some point where they now need the developers to implement um, the accessibility solutions that they have provided you know, for the chaos website. So it will need some custom CSS and a little knowledge of WordPress. So I told them I was going to bring it down here to Chaos Africa call to see if we have developers that are interested in exploring that. So um, how I'm not sure. Yes, uh, I'm not sure how many um, front end developers we have in the call or on the call. Please, if you are a front-end developer, like you use CSS very well, please, could you um, raise your hand? 
Great, Deborah, great. Nice. Would you like to explore um that issue? Um, so Ethel is busting my balls today and Sorry. I was disconnected from the call when you were talking about the issues. So I'm not really sure. Maybe if you could go over it again, please. Okay. So what I said was um on Tuesday, you know, we usually have a community call, chaos community call on Tuesdays. So um Victoria, one of us here. Um, she's also, uh, I think she's leading the um, diversity, the disability and inclusion focus group. And um, so she came to talk about the updates about uh, accessibility work they've done on the chaos website. So what they need now is for someone with the knowledge of CSS to make some custom CSS on the budget um, websites, on chaos website rather, to be able to implement what they have done. Do you get what I'm saying now? So we need someone with the knowledge of CSS and somebody willing to work on the WordPress website. Okay, I'm going to look at the issue and see if it's something that I can do. I must tell okay, you so there's first no, There is I, no I issue don't currently. Oh, okay. I don't use WordPress, but I'll see if I can help. Okay, okay, okay. So let me also get from others to, um, is there any other person um, interested so that we can reach out to um, Elizabeth and take the conversation from there? Uh, Winifred, you are a front end developer, right? Oh, no, I'm not back end. Oh, back end. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, Hamza, <laughs> I don't see your hands raised again. What's going on? Me, you raised my hand when? <laughs> I saw your hands raised up the other time. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, maybe it's a mistake. Though I'm a front end developer, but I write less CSS code. I use a lot of uh, CSS uh, framework to achieve uh, most of the UI units. So, and then this one is very tricky because it's, it requires someone with deep knowledge of CSS because uh, integrating CSS in the um, in a Word, WordPress content it requires someone with highly skills. So, uh, it's something that I can do if I dedicate my time. But uh, of course, I have other things to prioritize. Like I said earlier, I am. Um, I'm looking at the budget website Windows anymore and not since I'm now a maintainer of that particular project. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, if, if you're still like anyone who still love to follow up on this, please reach out to me or in the DM and then we can take it up with Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Um, does anybody have any other thing to say? before we round up and then close the meeting. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. See you uh, in the next call. Thank you so much, yeah. Adinka. All the children have their hands raised. Oh. Right. Oh, so, can you hear me? Olichu, yeah? Hi, can you hear me? Hello, Olichu. Can you hear me? We can hear you. It's a Gloria that is speaking, and Olichu has her hands raised. Hi. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was trying to speak, but I don't know. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. So, um, we... Just a little distance from the communications side. So we had a meeting yesterday, and I thought to like bring this particular one to a community meeting today. So if you're if you're speaking at any conference and 
you know that you're going to be speaking about like chaos in that conference, like in, like the work we do at chaos, you can let the community know. And also you can reach out to me so that we can promote it on our own um, platform too for better visibility. Because we notice that um, sometimes chaos uh, members give talk at conferences and we, we do not promote it like that on our own end. So we want that to change. And also another thing that we, Another, this one is from the Chaos Africa itself. Another thing that we want to like do at, in Chaos Africa is to do this community um, spotlighting. I know the general um, board, sorry, the general Chaos Project, they do this um, community chaotic of the week and something like that. But we want to like do the K, um, community spotlight in Chaos Africa. So what I'm, I'm I want to know is should we do it based on nomination or should it be random selection or if interested persons can reach out? And another one is um should we do it based on like if you if you've contributed actively for three months or six months? So I'm kind of like stuck um, between those suggestions that I just made. Hope I'm not too fast. Sorry. It's okay. That's really awesome. Thank Monique. you. Ah, okay. This is very, very, this is nice to hear. You, you could have bring this earlier in the meeting, not a uh, very late minute when we are running off. I really enjoy sure. this information. I uh, I think you speak to me directly when you pass this information because uh, I'm the kind of person that usually um, attend tech communities, uh, conferences with um, with either the Chaos hoodie or the Chaos t-shirt. And then people will now ask me, Chaos? I've never heard about Chaos before. What are you guys? Caring about, I say no. It's not that chaos that you think. This stands for Community Health Analytics in Open Source Software. They were like, wow. And then I start advocating. Okay, yeah, I'm a volunteer over there. We, this is what we do. This is what we do. We have active project. It's hardly for us to go two months without having an active project, and you can contribute to the community element of your skills. So thank you, Olichi. And then for the um community members, but like I think this is highly, highly this is something that, that we needed very more because uh, people, some people really, really appreciate this when, when their contribution was uh, was anticipated. So thank you. And I really I'm looking forward to see when <laughs> uh, when People like Ajinka, of course, they are giving a lot to the community will be spotlight. Regardless whether you spotlight Ajinka, whether you don't, we value her work here. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much. Kalichi, I think this is um, a great idea. In fact, they are great ideas and very much needed. The first one and the second one um so my own suggestion would be uh probably try the nomination to see um okay if that will work for us in chaos africa because then um it will be that other people even see the work of this person right and then they are nominating this person to this okay, box okay. Like, Yes. Okay. So that's one. Then, um, so I, I I've actually nominated someone before, um, for the um chaos project. So part of the question is, um, you should be the one to highlight even their contributions. So I don't concerning the time they've been, um, in chaos. I'm I'm not sure. Because somebody can come in within a month and then begin to contribute actively. So if if, the, if we are going by how active their contributions are, maybe the time they have been in Chaos Africa might not be um, an issue, might not be a big deal. What do you think? Well, I, I totally agree with you because um, 
I mean, some persons, they might be in the community for so long and then they will start mm-hmm. contributing like very well. So I don't know because sometimes I don't want to say like maybe some, some persons contribute for a while and then they run off. <laughs> okay. I don't want to say. I don't want to put it that way, but I mean, if we if we're going to go by the one month contribution, like active contribution, and we know that okay, this person is contributing very well. One thing we need to ask again is, after we spotlight them, are they going to like not feel relaxed and not want to like contribute again? Yeah, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, but. I'm so confused on that but because I think I made mention of it before and I don't know who said we should use a metrics of um, six, three months contribu- active contribution because mm. I mean when you to that extent like to that point then no matter like how very busy unless maybe you change career path and you're no longer you're no longer in the community again that is mm. when okay that okay this person is not that is not active again or something something so so yeah okay let, let's let's hear from others what do other others think um let me see if i can pick on someone <laughs> yiga say something Something is not. She's not. She's not here anymore. Okay, I'm let me see sure. who else would like to say something. How about Winifred? Are you there? Yes, I think I'm here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Would you like to say something? <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Well done, all the team and team for the like with the great ideas. Um. Yeah, I don't. I also do not think that the timing amount of like time you spent in the community. Um should matter as much but I do understand the part where you are mentioning that um, you think people would feel relaxed or whatever but yeah I guess the metrics for three months six months does make sense I don't think like a lot of people most people who have not been uh, quote unquote spotlighted would are here because they want to be spotlighted like it's just an idea that is just coming up. I don't know. It's not as if you just joined and like, oh, I'm here one day. I'm going to be spotlighted or something. And then once I'm spotlighted, I'm just going to dip. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if I'm here for like over a year. And it's not as if the spotlighting doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't really do anything. So I don't know if it's going to mm-hmm. change anything about um how exactly. I don't know. You know, just go. It's not like oh, I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest to collect the chaos spotlight badge. Once I complete this yeah. quest, I'm just going to dip. Yeah. So um, yeah. I guess uh, just go with it. I guess. We well, are looking forward to seeing the many great people that are going to be spotlighted. Yeah. And okay, thank you very much. So I think we can just go with um denomination. Just like Adenka um, suggested. So I think like whoever is nominating a particular person, they must have seen what that person have done or what the person is doing or something, something like that. So yes, I'm not I, I, I don't know. This this particular community member spotlight is you know, has been like we've made mention of it and and thing went under the carpet, something like that, because I, I see like other like other open source communities and they tend to like, you know, uh, say, okay, this person is doing this particular thing, this person is just to give, give a sense of, oh, we we are seeing your work. It's not going in vain or something like in the community, we are seeing it and we want other people to like see what you are doing, no matter how little and how like, you know, any, any, how sharp. But yes, I just want us to like, I just want us to like, um, Work like at um 
um, evaluate, it's not evaluate, sorry, it's a, what is it called? Um, that that you plan and execute, yeah. yes. I just want us to like execute this idea and this thing. And also like, if I come and meet you and then they nominate you and then you're telling me, I'll just go and do it at your back. I'm just joking. But I just want us to be able to like give room for other people to see that, okay, um, I can truly like contribute to this thing, no matter how small it is. And I don't know. I don't know. So yes. Thank you. Thank you, Olichi. I think this will also serve as a form of motivation for others um, to want to like contribute so that their work can be seen and they can be appreciated. Mm, I, I don't know if um, everybody likes to be in the spotlight, but I know that people like to be appreciated and seen for their work. So any way that we can try to do that in our community is welcome. So... Thank you. Amza, you have your hands raised. Yeah, uh, just a quick question for you, for you, Olichi. So um, I would like to know what was the, what was the, like, uh, if you are going to use metrics to monitor someone, so what can, have you defined the metrics yet? Like, um, was it by number of contribution they made? Was it number, of course, contribution can come in various forms. Be, for developers, it can be sending the PR, it can issue a even a PR. For a community managers, can be like uh, uh, how sorry organizing meetings, taking notes, facilitating, and all this like that. So just 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 to be clear on this. Okay, so based on the matrix, I um I don't want to say like um everywhere in the community <laughs> well because i i feel like because i'm in almost audio groups that has to do with chaos africa i tend to like see okay well, who is working and who is like constantly doing something or something like that do you understand but for the hey i mean yeah loud and clear okay so um i feel like um, like other people might not. Sorry, I didn't really get what you said, but but from the little I could pick, um, like for someone who is not in the community managers group, they might not really know who to like um select on that particular place. So as much as they might want to like favor a particular set of people, it might not really like favor another particular set of people because there might be some um categories of people that are not in your uh focus group and they are not seen. So imagine like almost everybody is in the developers group and then everybody is mentioning this particular set of names and what happens to like the technical writers and you know, other people that are writing and stuff like that, um, that they are doing something. So I might not really go with this six months, um, this thing, and three months metrics of or whatever. So I don't know. It's still like I'm still like it's it's a very blank and vague idea, but not like very very vague like that. But yeah. So, uh... Okay, this is something that we cannot decide on this meeting. So let's give it like two to three meetings before we decide on the matter. Yes. Yes, we are not doing it immediately. I just wanted to like um say it in this yeah, it's, a, it's a very welcome idea, but uh, coming coming up with the matrices and all those things, defining the matrices themselves, it's a, it's a trickiest part of it. So good luck with your initiatives. Thank you. Thank you. And also, I can just reach out to Elizabeth since she does this um, Chaos Africa and um, the general chaos spotlight. So I, I'll just ask her, like, what and what she uses to, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, you can, we can inherit it from there. Thank you. Busayo, yes, yes, please go ahead. Okay, sorry to like sidetrack from this, but I just wanted to mention, uh, because we said we've mentioned it here, the project manager's team is now active and we're in search of people that are interested in joining like the project manager's channel. 
So in case there's anyone interested, you can just use Slack to check for the project manager's channel and feel free to join it. So thank you. That's for new people that we have here. Ida, Trust. Uh, yes. So if you're interested, feel free. Thank you, Busayo. Um, yes. Uh, okay. So if you're interested, please reach out to Busayo on Slack channel. Um, any other thing? Let me see. Let me see. Any other thing? Okay. 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 Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Thank you for all the contributions also. Looking forward to see you again. Till then, bye, everyone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>